In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a short 3D animated video for kids in the style of Disney or Pixar. First, go to OpenAI's ChatGPT4 and type in a story prompt. Links for all the AI tools are in the description. ChatGPT will then create a short story for you. Next, go to ClipDrop by Stability.ai. Click on Stable Diffusion Excel and you will be taken to the Prompt section. Enter a prompt. and click Filter. Select Aspect Ratio, Widescreen, 16 is to 9, and then select Style, Photographic. Click Generate, and in a few moments you will get four images to choose from. Download the image of your choice. Now go back to the ChatGPT script and identify the other characters in the story. Return to Stable Diffusion and enter a prompt that includes the characters. Do the same for the rest of the characters and scenes. If you're not happy with some of the images, click the plus button to generate more images. The next step is to animate your downloaded images. For this, go to Runway ML, which is an image to video generation tool. Click on Image to Video and upload the image file. Click Generate, and the tool will create video from the image. Do this for the rest of the images until you have a number of 4 second animated clips. The next step is narration. Go back to ChatGPT and select and copy the first paragraph of the story. Now go to 11 Labs, select the preferred voice, and paste the paragraph. 11 Labs will generate the audio for you. Do the same with each paragraph. Once upon a time in a quiet village lived a curious young boy named Max. Max was unlike any other child his age. He possessed an insatiable hunger for knowledge and a boundless imagination. While his peers played games and chased after each other, Max was often found buried in books about science and history. Next comes video editing, where you piece all the different elements together. Go to Canva.com and select YouTube video. Upload all the animated images and audio into Canva. One by one, drag and drop each animated clip into the timeline. Similarly, drop the audio clips into the timeline. Extend the video clips so that they match the audio clip. If you feel you require more images on the timeline to match with the audio, then go back to Stable Diffusion, enter the necessary prompt. Bring the chosen image into Canva and place it on the timeline. Keep adjusting the clips until you get a coherent storyline. Once the editing is done, create the video file.
And here is the final video. Once upon a time in a quiet village lived a curious young boy named Max. Max was unlike any other child his age. He possessed an insatiable hunger for knowledge and a boundless imagination. While his peers played games and chased after each other, Max was often found buried in books about science and history. One fateful day, as Max was reading about the lives of great scientists, a mysterious old man approached him. The man's eyes twinkled with an otherworldly gleam as he introduced himself as Professor Hargreaves, a time-travelling scientist. He had developed a device that could transport people through time, and he had chosen Max to be his assistant on an extraordinary journey. Max's heart raced with excitement and a touch of trepidation as he stood before the professor's invention, a swirling vortex of shimmering energy. Without hesitation, he stepped into the vortex, and in an instant, he found himself standing in the grand courtyard of Galileo Galilei's villa in Renaissance Italy. Galileo, with his unruly white hair and sparkling eyes, greeted Max warmly. They spent hours discussing the heliocentric model of the solar system, gazing up at the stars through Galileo's telescope. Max was enthralled by Galileo's unwavering curiosity and determination to challenge conventional beliefs. Leaving Galileo's time behind, Max's next stop was Isaac Newton's study. The young boy marvelled at the sight of the great thinker, lost in contemplation under the shade of an apple tree. Newton explained his laws of motion and universal gravitation with such enthusiasm that Max couldn't help but be swept up in the excitement of discovery. Max's journey then took him to the early 20th century, where he found himself in Albert Einstein's cluttered office. Einstein's lively discussions about relativity and the nature of space-time left Max's head spinning, but his infectious laughter and playfulness made the complex concepts feel approachable. Darwin's company awaited Max in the lush landscapes of the Galapagos Islands. As they observed the unique wildlife together, Darwin shared his revolutionary theory of evolution by natural selection. Max's heart swelled with appreciation for the natural world and the wonder of discovery. After experiencing these incredible encounters, Max returned to his own time. He was no longer just a young boy fascinated by the stories in books. He had walked alongside some of history's greatest minds and felt the pulse of their curiosity and passion. Armed with newfound knowledge and inspiration, Max dedicated himself to his studies, vowing to carry forward the legacy of those he had met. Years passed, and Max grew up to become a respected scientist in his own right. He pushed the boundaries of human understanding, just like the scientists he had met during his extraordinary journey. He often thought back to the time-travelling adventure that had shaped his life, grateful for the opportunity to have met Galileo, Newton, Einstein and Darwin.